so before we go to the methodology we can understand once we determine the scope of the project we will understand how many modules are being uh, migrated or are being implemented in this new implementation project we need to decide how many people are required in the project because that is the major cost source in the project or expense source for the vendor uh, as well as the implementation partner right as the client so obviously we are going to have a steering committee who the management who is going to overlook the entire project the progress and all who is responsible to able to get the business to the company right he is the one who is lead, who is owning that project who is the one who is responsible to ensure that the client is satisfied with the services that are being offered and we will have a program management so about the steering committee steering committee usually contains all the cxo level people or the directors and partners so from the client side we are going to have the cfo ceo or the it head uh, and from the when implementation partner side also we are going to have the equivalent stakeholders who is responsible in the steering committee these people are not going to look into any groundwork they are not responsible for looking into the sap system typically they are only bothered about the timelines the budget and whether or not we are able to achieve the expected functionalities that we intended to at every regular timeline of the project so if it is a one year project every one month or one and a half month or two months they are going to have a meeting at the steering committee level they are going to see the progress of the project if there are any highlights that we need to consider or we need to raise then they will be apprised of that then what steps are to be taken what other support is required from a management point of view so all these things are something that are discussed in the steering committee of a project and those are the stakeholders in that so beneath that we are having a program management the program management is usually going to be the it head from the client side and also the project manager uh, from the implementation vendor and other module leads and all right so these are the people who usually are responsible at the ground level but still are at the management side who might not actually do the configurations in the system but who will be looking over the entire project timelines and all they are the ones who are going to have a regular connect with the people who are on the ground and they are the ones who are going to ensure that the timelines are met timelines are being adhered to or the quality is being quality of work is being done from the client side as well as from the implementation vendor partner so these people might not be an expert in the sap they might have worked in sap at some point of time but now they are completely into the management side so these people will be reliant on the solution architects who are the technical ex experts or the functional experts they are the ones who are going to understand what is that is to be implemented they are the ones who is going to overview whether people on the ground are implementing properly or not from a system point of view not from a project timelines point of view but from a system point of view these are our solution architects or subject matter experts whom we always rely on to follow the best practices etc so beneath them we are having the it head and entire it department or for example different modules and these different modules were having a module lead for everyone so every module lead is responsible to coordinate with the team members and do the necessary work in the stipulated timelines provided so these are the different modules we have in addition to the functional modules we are also having technical modules these technical modules are basis or your abap data migration if any security teams or any infrastructure team that we have and these are different functional people master data team finance purchasing sales production depending upon the type of business or the nature of the client's business we might need different modules and all those modules will have their individual module head who will be coordinating or who is responsible for their individual modules progress tracks to keep things online so this is a typical team structure in every service based industry that we would have worked in all of our work life right so this is how we need to 
ensure that the team is to be finalized whenever we go to that level of talking to the client uh, or talking with the CXO level people to understand how, what is going to be the resource cost. So depending upon the scope of work, we also need to decide how many people we want in each team. For example, how many functional consultants do you require for FICO module? How many people do you require? So it depends on multiple factors. One, the scope of work, how much work do we have? And what is the timeline during which this work is to be completed? And what are the who are the resources that we have? Whether are we having a single resource who can work both on FI and CO? Or do we require a separate or we don't have it, then we need separate resources for FI and CO. Or if the scope of work is too large for the FICO module, then it is if you feel it is better to have different FI and CO leads in order to ensure that the work is completed on time, then we might also go with a different FI and CO leads. So all that decisions are to be taken on a case to case basis by understanding the client's scope of work, their requirement, etc. So what is the role of a newly joined implementation consultant going to be in an implementation project? So that depends upon at what level are we joining. If we are uh, in the beginning of our careers, then we usually join as a team member in an implementation project. So the roles, the typical roles of an implementation team member are going to be to do the configurations, coordinate with the evapor in order to complete the custom requirements. You need to discuss with the client in order to get their, gather the requirements and you need to translate that requirement into the technical requirements to the evapors so that the evapors can start developing on that requirement. So the major role here comes is to have a proper communication skills in order to understand what the business is saying or ask the right questions if the business is not able to explain in a way that we require in order to implement it in the SAP system. So communication skills is really one important aspect because that really shapes on how the client looks us as an individual person in an implementation project. So that really also helps us to take our uh, forward very easily and it will obviously also help us to get the work done much more quicker. So networking is very important in any project in any career and it is not less in any implementation project as well. So the better we are able to communicate with the client, we will also get chances to communicate with the senior management and also the senior management from the client side, which will put us in limelight, which will help us to grow further in our career path. So communication skills is one thing that we require. This is not only for someone who is joining at a base level, that means as a team member, but this is also at someone who is joining as a mid management level, like a team lead. So if you are joining as a team member, then in addition to this, you also need to do the configurations. So SAP acumen is something that is expected from the consultant. So do the configurations, coordinate with the other team members in order to complete the work on time. Ensure that the quality of work is not being hampered. We also need to coordinate with other team members from different modules in order to do the cross module functions or cross module functionalities like FIMM or FISD or any other cross module configurations or developments. Sometimes we also need to do a cross module testing in order to test a scenario end to end. So at that point of time also communicating or coordinating with the different module members within this project is also expectation from the team members. Now reporting any issues that you are facing in order to get a help at the right time is also something that is expected from the team member. Coordinate with the lead of the team ensure that timely reporting is being done on the work or the issues that are being faced and highlight any red flags at the right time so that later on when something is not falling in place and when we're having a steering committee discussion or something we should not raise the point at that time so that we will be questioned back and why this was not raised earlier so this is pretty much same in any project be it an implementation project or a support project but 
in an implementation project this is having a much more higher importance because here the timelines are pretty stringent so we need to complete the work on time now if you are joining as a mid management level like a lead of the team then mostly people who are having enough experience in support projects or someone who is managing a support project will be joining as a lead or a team lead in an implementation project and the role will start like to coordinate with the team members to get the work done ensure that the quality is being met and also highlight the red flags to the senior management in order to get a timely support this is something you know cascading from a team member to the team lead to the senior management and in addition to this obviously communication is of pivotal importance for a lead as well because the lead is expected to be participating in regular meetings with the senior management from the implementation vendor company and also with the senior management of the client and obviously we need to be very much vocal on what is the requirement what we need to get in form of a support from the client or from the senior management so communication is also something that is really highly expected from the team lead 